Hey, what's up? This is Gizmo, and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Apple iPhone 4S. This is the white version, as you can see, 64 gigabyte size. Um, I had to wait in line this morning to get one. So here's one of the really cool features for the iPhone 4S. It's not available on any of the other iPhones. It is called Siri. Basically, it's like a voice assistant. It helps you out, and uh, this is what we can say to it. I love you. I am only here to serve you. Okay, she's only here to serve me. Do a Wikipedia search for Rebecca Black. Searching the web for Rebecca Black. So there you go. You can basically just talk to it and it does a really quick uh, search. Um, let's see what else we could do. What's the weather like in New York? Here's the forecast for New York City. New York today through this Wednesday. So you could also get a little more specific and be, how hot is it going to be in New York today? The high in New York City. New York will be 72 degrees. So it understands what you're saying. I really want some McDonald's. What's the nearest location? I found a number of restaurants named McDonald's. 20 of them are fairly close to you. So there you go. Um, I could also do send a text message to Yancey saying I'm going to be very late. There's so much traffic and a huge car accident. Here's your message to Yancey Rodriguez. So I'm going to be very late. Ready There's so much it? traffic and a huge car accident. Pretty much got exactly word for word what I okay. said. So you could just it. tap it and send it, and basically what, that's what you could do. You can set up your home location, a work location, so when you say, Remind me when I leave home to go pick up Bobby. I don't know what your home address is. Tap your name if you'd like to edit. So basically here I could add my home address, and uh, it'll know once I leave the vicinity of my home address, it'll remind me to go pick up Bobby, which I don't know who that is, and you know, I'm just showing you an example. Um, iOS 5 copies off of Android, but they do a really good job at how this works. Right here, I have a text message from a friend. They just sent a picture. Um, so I have a missed call here. You can see your missed calls. I'm going to close that out. Uh, you have a friend playing Wii. Uh, it's somebody's birthday. I have Apple stocks here. You can check the weather. You can flip over here. Different forecasts. There's a really cool setting. If you go to general, accessibility, then scroll down to custom vibrations, turn it on, and basically you can make your own types of uh, vibration settings for each contact. So I'm on Casey's contact page and you just tap edit and simply go to vibration and you could do all different types of uh, vibrations. Rapid, SOS, Symphony, kind of has different textures of, of uh, you know, how hard it's vibrating or how soft, or the simple long vibration. Um, you could do your own vibration by just doing tat, 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 you know. So hit play. So I know exactly who's texting me right in my pocket. Games load really fast on the A5 chip. Um, this is Angry Birds Rio, as you can see here, the loading starts. We start the game, play the game right away, jump right into it. It's not a crazy graphic intense game, but um, it loads way quicker. You're just flying through it, things just happen instantly. So here's another game called Gears. It has some really cool graphics. The dual core A5 chip really speeds up the iPhone. Uh, you have the iCloud on here dropping files. Um, gameplay is so much faster. It just feels, you know, snappier. You open up your email, things pop right up. Right here, you know, I could go right in here, pop here, boom. Things are just very smooth, very sleek. Uh, it's just very much more responsive. Uh, the battery life is about one hour better than the iPhone 4 for 3G calls and 
you know, basic usage. Um, it's an amazing battery life already, so battery is good to go. The camera is really great. It has an 8 megapixel camera, brand new custom lens, uh, 2.4 aperture, um, new back side illumination that's even better than before, auto white balance, um, color accuracy, all that good stuff. Even facial detection so it identifies faces, um, works with motion blur, which helps that out, kind of like an image stabilization. Um, you know, there's a lot of really cool things that it could do and keep videos smooth and steady. Uh, there's a lot that you can do with the camera. Options, you have grid and HDR. After you take a picture, I'm going to show you really quick, just a sample. Of course, it's a terrible picture. Um, you can rotate pictures right on the fly. You can fix red eye. There's no red eye here. You can crop an image just by doing whatever you want. I don't know how this works exactly. There you go. So you crop the image. You can do a magical effect, which auto enhances and basically brightens dark pictures up and stuff like that. So there's the camera settings really quick. The video camera is amazing, 1080p, 30 frames a second. Uh, also uses the backside illumination sensor, so uh, lets in more light, so you could shoot in darker uh, areas, darker, you know, low lighting situations. So you can see here, it's just really clear, really sharp. Video stabilization, if you're shooting some shaky footage, it'll uh, kind of smooth it off for you. So we got this shaking. Basically, you could tweet right from within your photo app. So I have a picture here of my dog, rest in peace. Um, you could tweet right here, directly from right inside your iPhone. Um, and just type my dog and hit send. So you could easily set your alarm just by talking to Siri. Set my alarm for 9.47 a.m. Your alarm set for 9.47 a.m. Cool, done. Make an appointment for October 17th at 1 p.m. with Mary. Okay, here's your meeting. Note that you already have an appointment about Chris Jim at 1 p.m. So I have a meeting at Shall 1 p.m. Anyway? And I have some type of altercation here with two schedules. No, schedule it at 3 p.m. To continue, you can confirm. Cancel. Change time to. I was or talking. change title. Make the appointment at 3 o'clock. Okay. I'll make that change to your appointment. So now I have a three, 1 o'clock and a the 3 o'clock. Mary Ryan is on your calendar for this Monday. Do you like Google Android? I really have no opinion. So apparently she has no opinion of Google Android. How many teaspoons in a cup? Checking on that for you. This might answer your question. So she gives me a whole bunch of information on how many different measurements to fill a cup. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? So what she's going to do is look, gets an exact information. Okay, here goes. So she gets it, 3,481. So basically, it pulls up information. If you have a question, you don't even have to go on the web. It picks it up right there for you. Get me directions to Santa Monica. Here are directions to Santa Monica. So there you go. Everything is really simple, really quick, and sets it up instantly. Siri is pretty cool. Send an email to Bob saying, I can't make it to the meeting. I'm just making up these names. Just I couldn't to... find Bob in your contacts. To whom shall I send it? So she couldn't find a Bob in my contacts. Um, so I could set it up right here. As you can see here, they're pretty much the same designs. Except for the lines on the top here and the sides. Um, this arrow, this little button here is down a little lower. Very slightly, right there. Lines are here, they kind of change the antenna lines here. This is the iPhone 4 and this is the iPhone 4S. Pretty much the same design. So looking at your iPhones, they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, we're going to check out Safari, see how fast things load up. As you can see here, this loads pretty quick. 
we're going to type in the same address. Right now we're on Wi-Fi. So we're going to hit Disney.com and we're going to hit them at the same time. Tap. So you can see this page loads way faster. So I'm already browsing. This just finished loading. So that's your basic look at the iPhone 4 so We're going to do a couple more in-depth videos, some tips, tutorials on help you, uh, you know, get your way around iOS 5 because there's a lot of stuff that they just added and uh, I have not even explored them all. So there's a lot to play with, a lot to do. It's exciting and uh, should have a lot of fun. If you can't figure out if you want to upgrade or not, check out one of our videos to kind of help you, guide you along, tell you what's new, what's, uh, you know, happening. And, um, you know, all that good stuff is there. You got AirPrint, AirPlay, call signals better. For AT&T, the download speeds are twice as fast. You got built-in apps. Um, you also can do Apple Care Plus, which basically is $100 for two years coverage for anything. If I wanted to throw this and just break it, I could get a brand new one. Um, you got the amazing Retina display screen, iCloud, uh, 1632 and 64 gigs, um, 1080p, 8 megapixel, dual core A5, Siri, all that good stuff. And, um, you know, of course, FaceTime on the front if you ever use that. Um, and that's basically it. The iPhone 4S, now available. You can get it uh, at Apple.com or Sprint, Verizon, or AT&T. They have it. Um, subscribe to our videos, and we will talk to you soon. More videos coming soon, so make sure you subscribe. We're going to get into some more details with Siri and uh, the more performance tests and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.